Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at CSS that we can now apply in both Wix and Editor X. Let's go ahead and get started. So in Wix, I basically designed a really ugly looking section here and I figured it'd be kind of fun to kind of design this to look a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is come over to dev mode to access CSS. If we come over here, you can see CSS right here and we can actually add to this. Now, if you aren't familiar with what CSS is, CSS basically allows us to design the website. So basically what CSS is, is if I grab this text and I center it, that's CSS. If I change the color to blue, that would technically be CSS as well. But what I want to do is actually do both of those things with CSS instead of the editor. So we just added the CSS by coming over here and adding the CSS and it added this little code panel right here. Now, if you wanna see what all of the types of elements that you can change with CSS, you can go to this link right here and it'll tell you all of the different elements that you can change and even how to change them a little bit as well. But what I want to do is just go ahead and delete this. So what I want to do first is grab all of this text and align it to the center. So I'm going to say dot rich text, and I'm going to go down to rich text underscore text, just like this. And I'm going to say text align, and we're going to say center. And as soon as I click off of this, you're going to automatically notice that it changes for us on the page. There's no need to preview or publish to see if it worked. It just automatically did it for us. Also, if I wanted to, we could change the color of this to red for some reason. And as soon as I click off, it automatically applies it. And I think that is super, super cool. But now let's go ahead and change the button real quick. So what I'm gonna do is say dot button. And for this button, maybe I want the border radius to be like eight pixels. And as soon as I click off, it's gonna round the edges of the button for us. Maybe for the border color, I want to set this to black. And if you don't wanna type in just the words, we could easily just do like a hex code or even an RGB code and it will automatically change that for us as well. And of course, Wix's CSS, I guess it already has some pre-built colors in there for us. And then maybe for this button, we want the text color to be changed as well. So what we can do is say dot button label, and we can change this color to black, just like this. And now the button is looking a lot cleaner, but it doesn't just stop there because if I go ahead and preview the website and hover over this button, maybe this isn't exactly what I want. So with Wix's CSS, we can also change the hover states of things as well. So what we can do is actually say button on hover, and we can actually change the background color for the hover. So what we're gonna say is background color. We can set this to black. And then if we come down below this, and we say button label, and we add a hover on that as well. Then we can say color, and we can set this to red. So now when we preview the website and we hover over this button, it actually creates what we basically designed with code. Now I'm not gonna go through every single thing that you can do with CSS in this, but I do think it is super cool that we are now able to add CSS manually on our Wix websites. For those of you who don't know, before I ever used Wix, I used to code websites with HTML and CSS. So the addition of CSS in Wix is really, really cool to me because I can actually, if I can't do something in the editor, I can do it with the code. So personally, I just find that really, really cool. 
and I'm sure you guys do as well. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.